Okay, we are now at the University Avenue where uh, I think the first contingent uh, has arrived. The one uh, supply vehicle here um, being watched by a security vehicle. <laughs> so we'll walk down to where they're going to encamp. They already had an information table up. We're walking down University toward um, Dole. And uh, this is maybe two and a half miles from the Occupy encampment. Here we go. Hey, welcome, Did welcome. You have a Huh? Did you have a branding event? I didn't. You didn't? I did not. Oh, okay, then I don't have to give you $100. Right, right, <laughs> right. I wasn't, I wasn't getting the vibe, oh, okay. so I figured maybe next time. Yeah, it was a really small march. It was like seven people. Good, good. We're, we're now live. Okay, we're at the corner. <laughs> and we can see the uh, info table has gone up with the official banner. I'm going to pull this out so we can see the official banner and there's a official sign in front of the official banner. Uh, the Occupy Honolulu. Some supplies here in the corner. Here's the obligatory shot of uh, Michael Brody taking my picture. <laughs> hey Mike. <laughs> there's Nova. Save Oahu Farmland. What? I was reading your shirt, Stable Off the Farm Man. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And let's just walk away. Where about the corner? Hints and stuff coming. Very uh, busy corner too, not quite as busy as the Thomas Square corner, but this is uh, right in the University District. These cars are coming up University Avenue. This is Dole right here. I believe they're going to set up yeah. at the corner. Yeah. Trying to find somebody. So. <laughs> Apparently. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake, you made it. You made it. <laughs> I am looking for someone. Let's see, I'm going to walk back up here. In session, so, hey man! <laughs> A lot of activity. Tell the I'm going to interview some people, but the reason why we're here, of course, is... Protest, uh... Are you live-streaming? Huh? Live I'm live-streaming, yeah. Anyone, oh, okay. anything, anything to say? Cool uh, shirt, by the way. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Occupy Wall Street. Um, this is us in solidarity with you. We're uh, occupying uh, UH Manoa, which has been getting money directly from Monsanto um, through CTAR. <coughs> through CTAR and um, other institutions. Oh, look, there's more people coming down. Right on, right on. <laughs> so, all right, so I need to go find someone. Okay, okay. You got the handshake. You got the handshake. Oh, I can get it again. You want to shake it? See, he's standing over there. I'm standing on the sidewalk. Still, where? Still, oh, are there? 
are there restrictions? Let's go over them while while I'm here and while we're no, while we can document it. No, I'm, uh, no, I'm generally here to document things. Yeah, just 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 don't roll out into the streets and you know, cause mayhem. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Okay. Yeah, that that sounds good. Yeah. So okay. you got that on record. Stay safe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, they, they, these guys are very nice and cool. So. And so. you are university security. Yes. Okay. No, we're no problem at all. Just ask the guys at HPD. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, don't. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, but, oh, yeah. So this and don't awesome. borrow their bulldozers or any of that kind uh, of we stuff. We need but. bulldozers. It would look more better if you guys brought up the con. <laughs> that's, that's just the purpose for it. Okay, good. Um, yeah. I'm missing a person, so I'm going to go look for her. Oh, I'm running out of things. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Peace. Oops. Yeah, peace. We're going to walk down to the corner again. We are at the University of Hawaii, the Manoa campus, the main campus, in uh, solidarity with uh, the Occupy Monsanto action, S17. Had a demonstration at the uh, Capitol, and then at Thomas Square, and then moved uh, some of the encampment to this corner here at near the university, a pop-up encampment. Uh, the main encampment re remains up at, uh, at um, Thomas Square. Uh, let's see, I am looking for... I'm looking for Karen. Anybody seen Karen? Oh she's, here. oh, she's here. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's actually a very good. Great. Uh... <laughs> that person's crazy. <laughs> Let's see that sign. Very good. This thing is very good in dim light. People are thanking Good. They should be. So, this is right here, the corner of University and Dole. And uh, we just talked to some uh, people uh, at University Security and they said seem satisfied at the arrangements. I think uh, the plan is to, s to stay on the corner for a week. And um, I think that to everyone concerned that's a doable plan. There's an info booth put up here in order to tell people uh, Inform people about uh, GMOs and whatnot. Universities usually associated with hot, as hotbeds of uh, political activity, dissent, and activity. But, um, but uh, not much. To my eye, but then I'm an old guy. I remember the uh, the old days, and I might be overestimating that era, or perhaps romanticizing it. Take care, guys. complimentary kind of comments than the usual habitation at Thomas Square. This is a friendlier environment. It's an info table, what we would call a first amendment table. Um, I'm looking down Dole Street. That in the back, in the dim light, you can see uh, Bachman Hall. 
Bachman Hall was was the uh, site of two major occupations uh, back in the early 70s for ethnic studies uh, for the creation and continuing funding for ethnic studies and interestingly at that time there was no Department of Hawaiian Studies. Um, the actual Department of Hawaiian Studies uh, didn't come until much later and, and one would think the University of Hawaii would have a uh, Hawaiian Studies Department that was very old and established but not the case and I think that's kind of interesting. Huh? Oh, here we go. Police. Police in a very slow... Uh, and turning in, too, maybe talking to uh, security. I'm gonna walk up there. Uh, transport vehicle is still there, so I'm gonna... Part of my job, my duties, is to document any interaction with uh, police. So maybe I'll go up there and see what's going on. Okay. First time seeing HPD on campus. Huh? First time seeing HPD on yeah. campus. Yeah. So what did, what's the deal? Uh, they're just talking with security. Talking story. Okay. Yep. And Orin took off, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It seemed pretty friendly. I didn't talk to him, but... Okay. That's good. HPD's here! Yeah, say our, our old friends. <laughs> Okay, we'll just... I don't think they'll set up uh, tents till later, so I don't know how long uh, I'll be streaming, but maybe we can get a word with somebody here. Oh, here's the policeman on the corner, too. Signs coming up. Hey! There's another uh, campus security. Campus is also a lot more locked down than it was in the old days. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe not. I think probably not. Anytime something's more locked down, it's not good. So I want to do an interview here. Who's who wants to tell us why we're here? I'll tell you why we're here. Okay, done. what's your name and tell us why you're here and what to do. I'm Jake. Um, the reason why we're here is because UH Manila has a program called Sitar. Essentially, it's uh, it's been given six hundred and twenty thousand dollars <laughs> by Monsanto. And the other so so with that six hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Essentially, they bought out all the rights to brainwash kids. So now they're giving crap information about GMOs, teaching them all sorts of stuff, saying they're good, and leaving out all the bad stuff, and basically teaching them how to do it all. So these kids are growing up to be our, our farmers in the astronaut hazmat suits. And, uh, and basically, yeah, it's just a propaganda leg of, of the agriculture, of, of the agribusinesses. So... You know, I'm not going to stand by and watch these companies buy out our youth. This is our future we're talking about. So, so what? What is the plan? How how long are you going to stay here? What are you? What are you going? Are you guys going to camp here? Yes, we're camping here. Um, the sidewalks are a little narrower than I hoped. Um, <laughs> we, we probably can make it work. We'll be all right. We're professional. <laughs> that's uh, right. <laughs> you you are pros at it. That's right. That's right. Ten months will do that to you. That's um, right. That, that encampment at Thomas Kerr started on November 5th. Yeah. 
Actually, yeah. 49 more days, 48 more days, yes. and it'll be uh, one year. Yes. Today is actually 10 months and uh, 11 or 12 days. Excuse me. Wow. 12 days. Oh, yeah. No, pretty impressive. That's, That's impressive. impressive. Some people have lived there that entire time. That's entire Yeah, we're getting some support here. That's different from Thomas Square, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So you'll be here a week? Um, yes, at least a day, at least a couple of days, I'm sure. It kind of depends on how the tags and the rates go back in uh, oh, right. Thomas Square. Right. Um, I don't know, we're just kind of winging it, Occupy style. You know how right, we do. right, so, right. Yeah, I mean, the plan is to show some movies. Um, we're going to get a little monitor right now, and then uh, we're going to whip out some speakers and stuff. Great. Show a documentary for everybody. Great. Um, we got a little media center set up, so if anyone's got any questions, come on down. We got we're gonna pull up articles and all sorts of stuff to answer your questions. That's terrific. <laughs> yep. Thank you much, Jake. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Thank you. I got some to say. Okay, what do you got? I'm Joker. I think uh, Kia Maya Maya was still alive right now. He'd be rolling if he uh, if you hear about what's going on, he'd be rolling up in his grave right now. Yeah. And yeah. He'd be really pissed off. He'd be doing something. I tell you. If you, you if, if this is a Hawaii and this is real, if you were a Hana and we would not let our family and our, our community fall apart and let some people come in to go our food system. That's right. Thank you. Obama is a liar on this kid. That's right. You can't say something. First of all, I read an article last time. We talked about Obama didn't do nothing about this. That's a lie. So he did do some kind of like and um, the Samoans they be bombing with um, what crops too. So for the um, GMO and it's coming to their crops too. So that's a lie. Okay. All the Malaysians are coming here to live here because of Obama. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? No, that's fine. You can say, it. you know, everybody can speak their own words. It's real, though. Anybody want to see you, Mike? You want to say something to our international audience on the internet? Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Monsanto. Stop letting corporations dictate politics. Ridiculous that we have to do this, but we do, so we do. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. And here, what do, what do we got in here? Uh, we have some trail mix, um, some dried bananas, and some almonds. Cool. We, do we know if there's any GMO in, the, in those? I'm pretty sure it's not. It's nuts, raisins, bananas, almonds. These aren't the major GMO crops. That's right. But the UH is actually trying to GMO banana, so... Oh, man, really? <laughs> oh, man. They've been working on it since 2003, 2003, 2006, Sarah, GMO yeah. bananas. Okay, well, thank you. Good good luck on the uh, pop-up and camping. That is a bomb sign right here. That is, that is a bomb I wore this on a t-shirt. That's a great one. Zoom in on uh, the yeah, I like the. I'll be like this. I'll be like. I'll put it and point to the Santo Man. The Santo Man is like. He's protecting himself from the poison and he poisons us everywhere. Yeah, he's protecting himself. Sounds like the government. So I've seen you before. Tell me something. Why are you here and what's up? Well, this is a to spread awareness about labeling, labeling of GMOs and basically the awareness about them and what they are. What GMOs really are, right? <laughs> because everyone's like, GMO, what the what? fuck is that? A lot of people don't know. GMO. In fact, what can you tell? What is GMO? What, what I can tell you is that GMO stands for, as we know, it's an anti modifier. So what makes this action yeah. less late yeah. here right now very special is because late 1970s, um, the U.S. Depart- the US Navy uh, and um, UH yeah. um, in their Department of Sea Park um, achieved a collaborated in a partnership to help create what we know as Ancient Orange. So, in Ancient Orange, is, um, that one of the most famously known, <laughs> right. <laughs> was sprayed over. Um, um, the country of Vietnam during the Vietnam, Vietnam War, uh, and basically um, killing and put it on. And I guess what you what would you call it? <laughs> no, um, sickening people with this you know, evil chemical compound. That was not supposed to be. So people are actually still being affected today. In fact, the Hawaii Farmers Union United President Clay Martinez 
has a documented form from his doctor saying that he's been contaminated with Agent Orange. And he is never fit to be in. I'm like, where did that come from? So, you know, this whole um, world is, uh, is really bad because um, the chemical, um, the company is actually a chemical company. Um, they were called Dow Chemical at the time. And chemicals like them, uh, companies like them are called life science companies. Biotech. Biotech. Yeah, so, right. And, they're, Biotech. and they're, um, some of them are known as uh, Syngenta, Pioneer, Dupont, Space, NASA. Yes, but the one that yeah. we're talking about today is Monsanto. Monsanto is a big, big one here because it has a, a lot of land here. So, uh, one of the largest land owners um, leases um, their land to Monsanto, who is actually a chemical company, but actually produces the food seed production company. So, turning um, agriculture into agriculture. Um, really put a monopoly on the farmers and really, really jeopardizing and the health risk of people who are in the land and the water. And so, with that, with that artificial inflation of the market, of this unsustainable way of living, while it does feed the masses in so much a sense that they take all the land that we could use to feed each other, but we're not really doing right. that because they're too busy doing skilled experimental process. Um, Nurilani Tras from the Indigenous World Organization, she was director, she said it best. She said, um, the Pacific Islands, the Sudan of Hawaii, has really become a global sacrifice to the global experimentation. And so we're here, and we call it action because we want labeling because um, we feel labeling like of GMO, the labeling of GMO, the labeling of Basically, oh, even the clothes that you're wearing. In fact, Dr. Juanita Matthews was just a She was really good. Earlier. Yeah. yeah, she's like, yeah, I keep going. Shander, like, you know, when I go to speakers, sometimes it's just like, huh, my cute little just dropped a couple of You know, with her, it's really easy. She really barnies it down. She's like, red stuff. Is yeah, it makes it easy to understand. Okay, I get it. It makes sense now. But anyway, so this is what the call to action is the awareness is for, for the labeling of genetically modified foods and basically GMOs everywhere. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, Doug. <laughs> I wanted to show uh, the Occupy sign. Uh, Sign out for now, and we'll be back uh, a little later on, maybe after tents have gone up. <laughs>